Today we're at the Auburn Gallery on Redchurch Street in Shoreditch at the opening of Sarah Maple's new solo exhibition, It's a Girl. I say that the work comes under the umbrella of feminism, um, but it's all different angles on that and different ideas to do with that one theme, I would say. I think she's um, she's got a huge amount of energy and she's got a very, I think she's got quite a unique perspective. And um, although some, I know sometimes people think it's, the work is shocking, whatever that means, I don't think that's where she's coming from, that's not her intention. She's actually, to me, she's a very interesting, intelligent, personable woman, and, it, and I think it comes across in the work. You know, I read about it and thought I'd come along, and um, yeah, no, I'm very impressed. Um, yeah, very ironic. Uh, very, yeah, the whole mixture of the, you know, feminism and, um, and the sort of, uh, you know, the postmodern, it's, it's great, it's a really good combination, yeah. There is, there's some really, really sort of strong and direct messages, and there's a lot of fun, that's what I love with, with Sarah's work, is that there's, you know, there's really important messages, but there's also loads of fun, and there's stuff that you can get engaged with, um, and, and it just, it's fantastic, it's, it looks great, and you know, and she's, she's an icon. Oh, well, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, a lot of the pieces are quite striking and thought-provoking. Um, a good piss take of the patriarchy, if you ask me. Um, yeah, I think it's great. It's really good. I think it's, it's quite admirable for a young artist to classify herself as a feminist, because I think it's not something that has been done for quite a while in that way. So, yeah. It feels maybe more focused on her body as well. Which I know, I know it's come across in the past, but it feels like she's using that more in the art. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's difficult as well to get the sort of humour and intelligence that balance right. But you know, everything you look at, if you look at it closely at the detail, I mean, especially that big picture in the in the other room, which is quite controversial. Yeah. Every single person in the background has got a distinct, unique impression. Everybody's telling a different story, the monkey included, yeah. <laughs> which just works brilliantly. It's just it's funny to watch and shocking as well. It's amazing. It's nice. Um, I think a really good jump from her old show. I don't know if you've seen it like three years ago. And no, I think both technically and conceptually interesting. Uh, I think it's really good actually. Um, the the artwork has all been made very brilliantly. I mean, like obviously, if there's anything that Maple should be traded for, it's definitely that her artwork is just so fantastically precise and like. To be honest, obviously the show's going down a tree and like, everyone seems to be having a good time, so yeah, it's going really well. We had, in Holland, we had uh, uh, the youngest audience ever coming in from uh, the south of Holland, girls from the, uh, everywhere of Holland, 16-year-old girls coming to watch the, 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 the art. And that's, that's, I think that's, um, so. Do you have a favorite piece here? Uh, excuse me? Do you have like a favorite piece here? Uh, yeah, this one. This piece? This one, yes. I think uh, the Votes for the Moon piece, I think that's got a lot of potential to go viral on the internet, I think. Um, I think that will amuse a lot of people and also, yeah, sort of... And there. Yeah. I think if there's anyone to... If there's anyone to put her next to, it's someone like Warhol, you know? She uses popular culture and she kind of explores the idea of fame and, and, and the self in her work. She's slightly less, kind of... For, for someone that paints herself, and he's in every one of her photos. She's less self-obsessed than me, but I think she's got she's that important.